Here we go guys, season 3 with Arsenal is finally here and I cannot wait to get things underway. This is going to be our final season with Arsenal and it's going to be special. We're going to do everything possible to win the Champions League this season. We're coming off the back of an incredible season in the Premier League where we did manage to win the Premier League title. And because of that, the board has entrusted us with 220 million to spend this season. And yep, you guessed it, we're going to be making massive signings. The 83 plus rule is gone. We can make any signings we want for the final season with Arsenal. And yeah, buckle up because we're going to make some incredible transfers now. At this point, you guys know every season we bring new kits to, of course, my career mode. So no different. Arsenal season three. Here are our new kits for the season. Time to reveal our kits for the upcoming season. And they're wildly different from what we had last season. First up, our third kits for the season, the alternate kits that we've got. We're going black. Super classy. I love the reds. Looks really good from the behind as well. There's a slight lightning design on it as well. Didn't know if you guys caught that or not, but I love it, guys. That's going to be our third kit for the season. And here we've got our away kits for the season. We're going yellow with the blue shots. What I do love about this kit, have a look at the Arsenal logo. It's something completely unique and different. I, I freaking love it. And well, this is going to replace our away kits for this upcoming season so far. The kits are looking incredible. And now we've got our home kits for this season. Of course, there isn't really much you can do for the home kits because, yeah, you can't really go away from the classic red and white. But I like the design. It looks very classy. And those are going to be our three kits for the upcoming season. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments section below. So, yeah, season three is going to be bigger than ever with Arsenal as we try and win their first ever Champions League trophy. The board are backing us with the money there's going to be a lot of cool stuff involved in this series with flashback signings and more so stay tuned it's going to be an epic finale to this amazing career mode we've run on this channel so if you guys are excited for the final season with arsenal i'd really appreciate it if you could spare a second and drop a like in the video Six thousand likes and i'll guaranteed 100 get you an episode tomorrow as well subscribe for daily fifa 21 career mode content and let's get the brand new season underway. Today's video, guys, is sponsored by OneFootball, which, in my opinion, is the best football news app out there. The knockout rounds of the Euros are here. We've got some cracking dice, England, Germany being the big one. And the best way to stay up to date with all the Euro games is OneFootball. Get your live score updates, notifications about your favorite teams, and just stay up to date with the footballing world with one football i've got the one football app right here and look at this guys they've got their very own euros tab on the app that looks so so cool where you can like predict um the team you think that's going to win for wales denmark I'm going to go Denmark, guys, because they're in incredible form, but it's going to be a very tight game, I guess. The One Football app is completely free on both iOS and Android, so what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to download One Football. Big ups to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the content. Press conference to kick off the episode. Our first press conference, by the way, for the new season. First one, in which position are you looking to improve your team? Honestly, our team right now is incredible, but there are definitely a few positions I'm looking to improve upon. As I said last season, it's time for Lacazette to leave. He gave us two incredible seasons, but it's now time to move on to something better. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing this season. So Lacazette will be sold and a striker will be signed. Also, I'm thinking improvements in midfield because I'm not too happy with Bissouma. So maybe replacing him and getting a better midfielder, maybe using the flashback signing to sign a certain midfielder could be the play. The right back spot is looking pretty average as well. So maybe there a few improvements could work out well for us. So yeah, those are basically the plans I'm thinking right now. But I want you guys to get involved in the comment section. Let me know where do you think we need to invest. In the next season, if you're selling Lacazette, which by the way we are, we made that decision last season, it's time to move on. Sign Antoine Griezmann. He's a baller in FIFA 21. Now, I do know Antoine Griezmann is very good. He'd fit our team pretty well. He's French as well. But the thing is, he's practically the same as Lacazette, just left-footed. Like, look at the age, exactly the same. The overall is exactly the same. It just doesn't make sense. If this was Antoine Griezmann a few years ago, maybe when he was 26, 27, it, may, it would make a lot of sense. But now, 
I don't really think so. So we're gonna stay away from this. Next up, maybe put Martinelli on a shooting plan so when Sanchez gets too old, he can easily be replaced. You know what, the first thing I'm doing this season is putting both Martinelli on Saka on the inverted winger development plan because that boosts shooting stats massively. We need to do it guys, we saw last season how dodgy the finishing was for those two so yep that's the plan. I think we gotta give a bit of appreciation for Lacazette, he's gonna be sold in this window and there's no better way than to appreciate him by giving him last season's played of this season, an icon card as well because he was well and truly an icon for us, incredible throughout both, both seasons. He even outperformed Aubameyang in the first season and in the second season led the line for us brilliantly as we did end up winning the Premier League. So fair play Lacazette, played of the season. As I said guys, Alexander Lacazette has been put on the transfer list. He's valued at about 37 million so we will be getting a fair bit of cash for him. The options I've got to replace him are pretty insane. We're going to take a look at them, but I'm not going to be making that signing in this episode. We'll keep that for the next one once I go through your comments. I'm not messing around this season, guys. We don't have any rules to adhere to, so we can just go and sign anyone we want this season. Kylian Mbappe is definitely my top pick. 92 rated, guys. I don't sign him enough in my career modes because just how expensive he is. But imagine him leading the line for us. Oh my god. That would instantly make us Champions League contenders, guys. And that's what we want to achieve this season. We did the hard grind. We achieved the Premier League. It's now time to take this team a step further. And Mbappe can help us achieve that. Haaland is a great option as well. But I feel like I've used him so often. So I'm definitely um, preferring Mbappe for this time. Ja Felix would be a great option as well. But that's why all these three are really good ideas. Let me know in the comments section who you would prefer. But Mbappe to Arsenal... We have the money to make it happen, especially if we sell Lacazette. So, oh boy, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to pull this signing off, guys. I am definitely inclined to do it. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Mbappe to Arsenal. Oh my God, would that be insane? Okay, so I accidentally clicked the approach to sign thing. So I'm just going to offer one pound for now. I don't want to sign Mbappe right now. We'll do it in the next episode, of course. PSG rejecting the one pound, a bit disrespectful, but we'll come in with a good offer in the next episode. In other news, guys, we are replacing season objectives with episode objectives for this season. I feel like season goals would have been smart if we were doing another season, but since we aren't, we've got six development tokens. It doesn't make sense to try and get any more or like have objectives. So what we're going to do is every episode... I'm going to get you guys in the comments section to select a challenge for me and we'll try and complete it in the episode. They could be along the lines of this. Dink it in, score three goals with chip shots. Now this might create some hilarious gameplay as I try and spam chip shots, but that's the aim. We're going to try and have a lot of fun this season. Daily challenges is what we'll call this, I guess, and they're back for this season. So get commenting what should be the first challenge we attempt in the next episode. Let me know. Okay, so it's now time to make our first signing of Season 3 with Arsenal. It's going to be a flashback signing now. Just a quick refresher. This is basically a way for us to get former Arsenal legends, in this case, involved in this series. So basically, one flashback signing a season like we did with Alexis Sanchez. And we're going to do one again to start Season 3 off to spice things up. And it's going to be Cesc Fabregas. I wanted to make this signing happen last season, but he was on his way out, so we couldn't sign him. He'd already signed a deal with another club. Now it's possible. I'm willing to sell Bissouma to make way for Cesc Fabregas, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. We can get him for super cheap because of his age. 85 overall is where he's going to start. Take a look at this graphic. This will let you know how the upgrade pattern is going to be for Fabregas. 10 goals and assists over the course of this season. He gets upgraded to an 87. Another 10 goals and assists and he goes to an 89. So let's see if we can make Fabregas 89 rated over the course of this season. Before that, let's sign him. Okay, this should be relatively cheap. I think 4 million should be enough because of the age. The overall is 85. So I expected him to be a bit more expensive, but 4 million is going to work. So... I'll absolutely take that. I'm surprised that Fabregas is willing to accept a rotation squad role. That is actually pretty darn amazing, guys. Uh, a one-year deal. I want to try and get him on a two-year deal. But then again, we're only doing one more season. So, well, it didn't really matter that. But anyways, we'll remove the appearance bonus because that is tradition. Submit offer. 
and that should be enough. He wants a bit more. Okay. I'm willing to play with it. I absolutely am willing to play with it. There you go, guys. Cesc Fabregas has just signed for Arsenal once again after all these years. After almost a decade, we've brought Fabregas back to Arsenal for the final season. This is going to be amazing. Honestly, don't think there could have been a better signing that we could have made, guys. Cesc Fabregas back at Arsenal. Yo, absolutely love it, guys. What a start to season three. Okay, so I don't think I'm making more transfers in this episode because I first want to try and offload a few players like Lacazette and all. Then I want to know how much cash I'm working with because my goal is to sign maybe Mbappe and even a right back. So it'll depend on how much money we have because Mbappe is going to be expensive, guys. So it's now time to get some outgoing transfer business done. You know what, guys? Before I forget, we need to put a development plan for shooting on, of course, Saka. We've already used one token on Martinelli. We'll use one more on Saka. That should improve his shooting drastically. So... Yep, that's two tokens already used up. We've got four to go, I think. I think we were on six because last season we also won the Premier League and a trophy means a bonus token. Okay, we already get an offer for Alexander Lacazette and I'm kind of happy that it's from Real Madrid. I'm not going to mess around here, guys. Or maybe I should because I could get maybe more money for him. You know what? Nah, let, let's not... Let's not sp spoil or ruin Lacazette's chance of playing for Real Madrid. Let's not do that, guys. First of all, rejecting this for Rafinha. For Lacazette, I'm going to accept it. 45.9 million. You can leave, man. You've done incredible for us. Enjoy your time at Real Madrid. It's, of course, time for us to replace him with someone like Mbappe or Jao Felix. But let's hope this goes through for Lacazette's sake. Okay, now, a big offer from Manchester United for Mario Hermoso. What makes you think I'm willing to sell probably my favourite centre-back of FIFA 21 for just 43 million? Get out of here, Man United. I'm not selling Hermoso to a direct rival. Never. He's gone, guys. Alexander like I said, has made the move to Real Madrid. Respect and yeah, time to move on. Next episode, we need to get that striker signing absolutely sorted. We've also loaned out Jaden Bogle, who we signed as a backup right back. But since I'm looking to sign a quality right back possibly this season, I've loaned him out for now. 255 million is what we're sitting on. This should definitely be enough for killing Mbappe. Absolutely. Can Manchester United stop trying to sign my centre-backs? I'm not going to try and improve a direct rival, guys. Come on. Gabriel only being 24. This would be the most stupid thing we would have done in this CD. So, rejecting the offer straight up. Man United, please stop. I'm not selling you my centre-backs. Now, this is an offer I'm interested looking at. Yes, Bissouma didn't really reach the heights I expected him to achieve here at Arsenal. In real life, he's going to make a move to Arsenal, apparently. But for this series... I don't think he's useful anymore since he's 25. 14.2 million. I'm going to take the cash, free up some wages. Would help us with the Mbappe signing. Plus, with Fabregas coming in, I think it's time to let go of Bisuma. Meanwhile, guys, it's now time for us to play a Community Shield final as we take on Liverpool. Now, if I'm correct, we haven't won this yet in this series. So, we've won, I think, the Premier League. The FA Cup and the Europa League were yet to win a Community Shield final. So let's make it four in this series. Would be the perfect way to start off the season. Liverpool aren't going to be easy though. By the way, for those of you guys who want to have a quick look at the stats of Cesc Fabregas. There you go. 75 pace, 80 shooting, 89 passing, 83 dribbling, 71 physical. By the way, we can improve these stats. 10 goal contributions with Fabregas. He goes up to an 87. Another 10. That's an 89 rated Fabregas, guys. Oh my god. Also, Sanchez, um, 86 right now. But if he gets 10 goal contributions this season, we bump him up to an 89. So, yep, that's going to be exciting. Looking at the lineup we're rocking for this game, of course, I'm going to give Fabregas his debut and test him out against Liverpool. I'm so excited to see him back in an Arsenal shirt, man. Honestly. He was trying to join Arsenal again back in like 2014, 2015 when he was making his return to Chelsea. That time, Arsene Wenger didn't want him and he, of course, joined Chelsea. So, he still has a soft spot for Arsenal. We've brought him back at the club and let's hope he can help us win at Wembley. The Community Shield final as we take on a very strong Liverpool team. No Mane, though. Curtis Jones starts for them. Okay, their defence looks awful. Okay, no Alisson as well. We gotta win this. Here we go. Time for the curtain opener of the season as it's the Community Shield final. Arsenal-Liverpool. We're using our brand new away kits for this one. 
Cesc Fabregas making his return. So many storylines here. This is going to be epic. It's the champions of the Premier League, I think, taking on the FA Cup winners. Let's go. Oh, here's Fabregas on the ball. Let's see how his passing is. Slides this one for Erdegaard. Already we're seeing the passing range of Cesc Fabregas. I'm excited, definitely. Now, if you guys know the format of the Community Shield, if this game is still nil-nil or a draw at, of course, full time, we're going directly to penalties. So there's a good chance we might end up seeing penalties in this one. I'd love to not because it's always random and 50-50. So I'm really hoping we can get the job done in 90 minutes as Alexis Sanchez does really well to find Jonathan David. Big game for him. New striker coming in, but if he keeps performing, he'd make a claim for that starting spot himself. As we find Fabregas trying to let one go from distance, but fair enough, Liverpool blocked that. Fermino is one of those players who always causes me problems, and so is Wijnaldum. I feel like Liverpool have so many players that annoy me on FIFA. Salah, but Tierney defends that well. He's once again going to be captain, but let me know in the comment section if Cesc Fabregas should become the captain of Arsenal for this season, because he was captain before, guys, so... He's probably the most qualified person on the pitch to become captain. Let me know what you guys think as it's a chance for Firmino. Leno doing Leno type things, saving um, us in difficult situations. Last season he was incredible and he's off to a decent start now. Here's Fabregas. Oh, look at that for a pick out. Finds Nicola Pepe easily. Now Jonathan David, I tried to, you know, do a back heel there for Odegaard, but it didn't work. But so far, the passing range of Fabregas is class. Odegaard. Looking for Fabregas now. He's got space to maybe go for goal here. Fabregas. I'm just I'm just maybe overplaying it with Fabregas. Maybe I just need to like calm things down with him, guys. Honestly. Jonathan David. Ah, takes it away, Williams. Fair enough. We're trying to find Fabregas again, of all people. Wijnaldum. That's a good pass for Curtis Jones. But that's brilliant defending. No, come on. That's not a foul. Chelly got the ball. And now it's a free kick opportunity for Mo Salah. I'm going to slightly move the keeper, guys, because otherwise it's going to end up in the top corner. I moved the keeper the other way. Wijnaldum decided to put that top right. This is insane. This is insane. This might be one of the best free kicks I've ever conceded. Wijnaldum, wow. He's not even a good free kick taker. It was the second man on it. Completely caught me out by surprise. What a free kick that was, guys. Like, pick that one out. Fair enough. Like, you can't be mad at that. That was insane. Top right corner. Bang from Wijnaldum. With a goal down in this Community Shield final. That's not the start I wanted, guys. Come on. We've got to bounce back from this now. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on now. Like, please. Within three minutes, we've conceded two goals. What? Like, honestly. Just awful, man. Are we going to win the Champions League like this? If there was ever a reason why I think Mbappe is needed, this is it. This is it. Like, we, we're just... Oh, come on. Got it, guys. Got it to concede two goals like this. This could be the end of any hope we've got of winning the Community Shield. Ha. Huh. Alexis Sanchez. We need to get one goal back as soon as possible. Alexis Sanchez from distance. No way, keeper. Please let that go in. At least we're creating chances now. That's a positive. You best believe Cesc Fabregas is taking set pieces for us. But we're so bad with corners. Hermoso actually won that. But nothing from it. Hermoso. Sanchez. I see the run being made by Tierney. Alexis Sanchez. That's a lovely first touch. If he can bring it inside. Ah, oh, he's lacking that pace. But he gets it for Tierney. Erdegaard. Nicola Pepe. What's he waiting for? Oh, for that. Nicola Pepe, the Tekos. I thought he completely ruined the attack, guys, because he just waited so long to get the shot off. But then he was just doing that to push the defense towards the right. And then look at the finish. That is outrageous from Pepe. Oh, my God. The cheekiness behind that effort. Look at that, guys. Look at look at the defenders. They just all, all of them went to the right and there was nothing they could do to stop Pepe. That's class. Nicola Pepe getting a goal back for us at like at the r perfect time as well, just before halftime. Come on now, we're back in it. Halftime now against Liverpool. It's good to be back in the game with that goal. Remember, if we can get another goal, this game could go to penalties and then anything can happen. So we're still well in it. Second half, let's see. Oh, here we go again with Nicola Pepe. Something's changed in this second half. Nicola Pepe here. Oh, there's just no space to shoot there. Couldn't get the shot off, but... We're looking in the mood right now. Can we make the comeback? It's definitely looking likely. We just got to keep the game as tight as possible here. Fabregas. 
Pass out wide for Nicola Pepe. And now we can move it inwards. As I find Martin Odegaard. Odegaard sliding this one for Jonathan David. It's superb. No, the keeper makes a save. We're playing some great football. We deserve the equaliser. Let's keep pushing, man. There's definitely time to turn this round. Another set-piece opportunity. Why is Thomas Partey taking them? At least it worked. I mean, Hermoso messed it up. But you know what? That was a chance. Hit the corner flank. That's a bad header from Hermoso, to be fair. Really hasn't been Jonathan David's night, guys. So I'm going to bring on um, Gabriel Martinelli. And we'll play Sanchez up top. He can play there. And also, Fabregas, I think he'll take some time to adjust to the level of the Premier League. So we'll bring on... What prowse is Saka? We'll be aggressive, guys. Oh, Saka loses so many ratings there. We'll bring on James Ward Prowse then for that midfield. For some reason, I forgot to put Awar in the bench. I'm such an idiot, guys. Actually, then, I might just stick Fabregas in instead of uh, Ward Prowse. So we'll just keep Fabregas on. Only change being made is Martinelli on the left and Sanchez up top. Oh, Alexis Sanchez burning him for pace. Still Sanchez shoots. No, that's so bad from Sanchez. You expect so much more from the Chilean superstar. Ah, that was so wide. Alexis Sanchez running at this Liverpool defence. Still Sanchez here. Options are appearing as I try and find Fabregas. I can't. Odegaard scooping this one for Pepe. He controls it. Nicola Pepe, there's the pace. Looks to bring it inside. Does. Tries to shoot, but Phillips with the tackle. 20 minutes to go, guys. We're running out of time. Nicola Pepe. Nicola Pepe, massive chance. He's managed to score. That's the second of the night for Pepe. We managed to get the equaliser. 75th minute, completely turning this game around. Liverpool took the lead in a four-minute spell in that first half, scoring twice. We've had to work so hard, and it's Pepe who steps up. Are we going to see a historic season from Nicola Pepe with Arsenal this time around? I, I think we might, because... He's just been incredible so far in these what in this first game. Massive, massive goal from Pepe as we get the equaliser. And if things stay the same, this is going to go to extra time. No, not extra time. Directly to penalties. We're piling up the pressure, guys. We do not want this game to go to penalties. It's Nicola Pepe. Massive chance. No, that was his hat-trick goal. I should have brought it onto his left foot and finessed it in. I went for the power shot to just try and assure myself of that goal. But it didn't work. Uh, that was our final chance. We could have avoided penalties, man. But now, penalties is looking more likely unless Liverpool score. And it's heartbreak for us. No, we get that one away. Is there time for another attack? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're going to penalties to start off season three. This is mental. Honestly, feels like we've had a penalty shootout in like the last three episodes. That That's actually mad. Fabinho, who's, in, who's insane at penalties, takes the first one. Slots it home calmly. Huh, now we're going to take this one with Fabregas, who's pretty good with pens. I'm going to go left. Well, that's not the start Fabregas wanted for his career. Mo Salah takes this one. Oh. I hate penalties, man. I honestly do. We're going to go top right with Pepe. That's more like it. That is more like it. Pepe doesn't miss. Wijnaldum, of course he's going to score. There's literally no point. Actually, ch oh, what? He's in the post. There is hope. There is hope. I'm going to go top left with Sanchez. Please put this in. Solid, solid penalty. Why'd I mess up with Fabregas, man? It's 2 all now. Thiago to take this one. I need to start going right. It feels like Liverpool always just keep going there. I'm going to go top right with Odegaard. Please put this in. That's what's up. That is what's up. Come on. We got to save this. I'm going right. I'm going right. Let's go, guys. It's worked. Fermino bottling there. And now, if we score this with Martinelli, we're going to win the Community Shield. Let's make it happen, boys. Let's make it happen. We've just won the Community Shield as well. The curtain raiser of the season comes home to Arsenal. Penalty shootouts are always insane. For the moment, I thought we were going to lose when Fabregas missed this pen. He'd be happy that Leno was insane in the shootout. Job done. We've managed to, of course win the community shield the perfect way to start off the season we really should have avoided penalties but hey it doesn't matter we get the job done that's another trophy that's four trophies now for the season so we just had literally the perfect start to our season but next episode is where things get interesting because we're gonna begin the premier league season we'll probably even have the champions league group stage draw and of course, it's all about spending that 255 million to bring in a superstar signing, a superstar striker 
Next episode is gonna be crazy. Quick third of the episode update. I can't look past Nicola Pepe. Leno is a good shout as well, but Pepe, the two goals, won us that game. So I think it's gotta be Pepe. For now though, guys, this is where we're wrapping up the first episode of season three with Arsenal. It's been a great start. Winning on penalties is always fun. Stressful, but fun. Next episode, as I said, superstar signing. It's going to be incredible. If you guys are enjoying the Arsenal career mode, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a second hand. Drop a like in the video. 6,000 likes, I'm telling you. I'll get you an episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys very soon for another episode.